Uh, I'm sorry, my man. What's your name? Say so. Say so. Uh, you're from Puerto Rico, right? What part of the island? My family from Puerto Rico. Guayama. Guayama. de Hayuya. All right, my man. What's your name? Justin. Come here, Justin. Come here. I want to ask y'all both a question. The brother was going through history. History of the Puerto Rican and black people. And not just history, this, the present day life we live. Why do our people come from Puerto Rico? Let me know. Because I don't, you were born in Puerto Rico, right? So why are people come from Puerto Rico? Let me know why your family came. Get you around me 28. Get away from all the ball. Get away from what specifically? There ain't no damn jobs in Puerto Rico. There's gang violence and drugs in the Puerto Rico. You go to Caserio, what's over there? All you got is automatic weapons, roosters, and violence. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's like today. The same thing we go through in Puerto Rico is the same thing that we go through in the ghetto here. Right. You go to Conkey, you go to Clinton, you go to Avenue D, you go to over to uh, Chai Lai, Thurston. You see the same thing. Right. Why do black and Hispanic people go through this? That's the whole point. It's not just about connecting you to history 500 years ago. It's about why you go through what you go through today. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Now read that, Deuteronomy 28, 15. You know it, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. We all believe in God. My man, you believe in God? You believe in God? Now let's see what God said. Because God is not the same God the church be saying he is. Right. Totally different God that we serve. That's right. Great. When it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What we're reading here is Moses' account of the wilderness with the Israelites. Deuteronomy says, if the Israelites do not hearken to God's words, what does hearken mean? What if, what if I ask you, my man, I say, hey, say so. Hearken to what I'm saying. What do you think I'm trying to say? Hey, if you don't know, that's fine, bro. That's honesty, bro. That's all right. You mean like to relate to you? Or to relate or listen. Hearken means listen. Right. So now if I say, hey, listen to me, hearken to me. So now the Bible says, if the Israelites do not hearken to God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Now hearken to do what? His commandments. Name a commandment. Anything. Thou shalt not murder. Let's say thou shalt not murder. Let's stop there. Let's stop there. Just one commandment. The Bible said if you don't keep God's commandments or you don't hearken to him. We don't keep thou shalt not kill. You go to claim, you watch the news. Every day someone in the hood getting shot, stabbed, or jumped. Right, you know. You go to Puerto Rico. Same thing. You saw the massacre that happened three months ago. I forgot where it was. But you had the machine. The brothers came up with the machine guns and lit up the whole block. The Bible says that those actions are not hearkening unto God. Right. Now there is a judgment for that. Remember, people say only God can judge me. Yep. People say that, right? But we're about to read how God judges. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said, if you don't hearken to me. Now listen, I want you to pay attention. I know it's hot out here. I know we're sweating. But hey, listen up real quick. God said, if you don't hearken unto me, all these curses shall come upon thee. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Terrible. It's a terrible thing. But God said he would judge us with what? Curses. Curses. I want you to remember that word. God says if we don't keep his commandments, we'll be a cursed people. The only people that have been through slavery, that have been through Jim Crow. Believe it or not, Puerto Ricans went through Jim Crow. That's why, and sharecropping. That's why Pedro Pisu Campos, if you, ever, if you ever know that name, he was a revolutionary in the 50s. He fought for independence for Puerto Rico because he was inspired by the Black Panthers who were fighting for the same thing. Our history is intertwined. We're the only ones that go through these curses. Now, I'm going to read a curse. And I want you to tell me if we as a people relate to that. Right? Because if we relate to some of these things written in the Bible, who are the people of the book? It would be us. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfor it's not unfortunate when you know the truth because why? There's a way to get out of the curses. That's right. Yeah. God said if you don't park it, you'll be you'll cursed. Be cursed. Now, what's, how do you think you get out of the curses if you what? Now, listen. See how easy that is? Hey, you see how easy that is? I just wish that there was a way that more people, because the world right now is... Right. Now, now I'm going to address that real quick after I read this verse. Read verse 16. You're right. 48. Chapter 28, verse 16. This Bring is a curse up. now. Listen up. I want you to make sure you understand this. Read. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Bible says, curse shalt thou be in the city. Where are we right now? In the city. In the city. Are we blessed right now or are we cursed? 
it, it, it feels cursed because it is cursed. You got Arabs that own that store. Look how run down that store is. You go to Henrietta, you got the brick buildings. You go out to Fairfield, you got the nice houses. Nice but look what we got over there. We got an empty lot. You see what I'm saying? We got a broke down gas station. God says the people that are cursed in the cities, that's because they're not hearkening to my law. And these are signs, read verse 46, these are signs that they're my chosen people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Bring it out. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. God says that these, they shall be upon thee for a sign. What does a sign do? Uh, hopefully, if it does it correctly, it helps point you to... In the direction, right? Yeah. Point to the mess. So God said these curses are the pointer to show you who you are and why you're going through what we're going through. Why you got to go on a plane a thousand miles across the earth to try and find a job in the country that oppressed you and killed your people from 1898 to present day. That's when America conquered, uh, took Puerto Rico. And before that it was Spain. You get what I'm saying? Now, do you think, let me ask you this. Do you think white people or Arab people or Chinese people, are they cursed in the city? Think about it. No. You said no. So then if they're not cursed in the city, and the Bible is talking about God's chosen people suffering curses. Who then are the only people that fall under these curses? Hey, he wanted you to prove to us that he's the real Jew. Exactly. Hey, my he man. Bible too. Now, now, what's your name? My name is Corey. Corey, nice to meet you. Joshua. Now, I, I know, I, I, I'm going to give you one more scripture before you go. I know you, hey, I know the feet are happy. Oh, I got kids. You got kids? Got okay. Oh, you got a newborn at home. Yeah. So do I. So do I. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Now, you, you married? Not yet. Not yet? I'm engaged. You're engaged. All right. You got to lock that ring. thing up. I want a ring. I now, you don't even need the ring. The Bible says that's I, a... I know, I know. But that's just something, you know, in since I'm not all the way there yet. So right. she knows I'm not just chatting. Got that's you, got you. That's now, my little peace of mind. Got you, got you. I'm going to give you one more thing. And Go ahead. Come here real quick. It was Carl, right? Corey. Corey, sorry about that. Corey, I want you to listen to what I'm about to say to these two brothers. We've been talking about how we know where the Israelites. Right. How we understand that were the Israelites. Now, Puerto Ricans, they're from the tribe of Ephraim. If you come over here and look, that is the leader of the Northern Kingdom. They're the leaders of the Hispanics. You ever wonder why all, all the music stems from Puerto Rico? Right. Why all the best dance, salsa, comes from Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. Right. La Bamba. Right. Why does it come from Puerto Rico? Right. Because we're the leaders right. of the Hispanic That's tribe right. according to the Bible. And guess right. what? Who do, we, who do we take track from? Who did Bad Bunny take trap from? Yeah, you know, break the our people. You What's it the same like people? That's what we're in the same condition. Bring it up! Hey, Bobby, you are Boricua. Tell me, Bobby, tell me. You are in English too. Oh, a little, a little, okay. And now, I want to go back and forth because I want y'all to understand. This is part of the reason why we're oppressed. Think about it. You ever heard of the term divide and conquer? Now, what did the nations do to divide and conquer us as minorities? When they conquered this side of the earth, Spanish came to Puerto Rico and said, guess what? Hey, uh, let's say, uh, Luis, Luis, hey, give me that gold over there. By the way, give me your wife, and I'm going to rape her, and I'm going to make sure that you go into slavery and, and pick sugar cane. And at the same time, they're going to Africa and taking our people from the West Coast and bringing them to America and suffering the same bondage. They taught them English, they gave us Spanish. They gave them Baptists, they gave us Catholics. But it was the same organized war That's against right. our people. That's right. Now, read Jeremiah 15 and 33. This is the last one I said. This is the, you know, I said one more scripture. This is the last one that you can go about your way. But the point is, hey, my man, Bobby. No te vaya, Bobby. Estamos enseñando la verdad según la Biblia. Necesitamos un poco más tiempo. Eh, okay, está bien. Entonces, léelo cuando tengas tiempo porque nuestra historia según la Biblia, tú, eres bori tú no eres boricua. Tu eres Ephraim según la Biblia, Bobby, okay? Alright. Now, read this verse real quick. It's the last one before you can go. Read. Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 33. Bring Saint it up. Corey is going to address how we know that we are the Israelites. I'm going to show you. Read. Thus said the Lord of hosts. So this is God speaking. Remember before it said God is going to curse the Israelites. We discussed we're cursing the city. It's got to be talking about us. Read. Thus said the Lord of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah. Now, Corey, do you know what it means when it says in the Bible? You gotta, you gotta look through the Bible with us, man. We read the Bible. I still learn. I still learn. That's fine. That's fine. 
You're good. No worries. As long as, long as you come to learn, that's fine. So Jeremiah 50 and 33, it said the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Any idea why he separates the two? No? Because in the Bible, there was two nations split from the nation of Israel. One was the nation of Israel, like it said. That's Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans down. And Judah, which are the so-called black tribes or dark tribes of the southern kingdom, blacks, Haitians, and West Indians, they split because of controversy in the kingdom. All this information is in the Bible. I'm going. I'm giving you a fast rundown because we don't got time to read the whole Bible, right? What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. But guess what? Everything I just mentioned, you probably never heard in church. Why? All this history that seems like it's newer, it's relating to your personal situation. Why is it not in the church being read? Because it's the same institution that was from slavery. They took our book, gave us religion, and said, hey, you can just close that now. We're just going to sing a song about Jesus Christ, a white boy that was saved, that died for our, uh, our, our sins, and we're going to praise this wooden cross. Right. That's all that happens in the church. Bring it out. But when you open it up, you start to find things you've never heard. That's like right. there was two nations of people that God cursed that were actually prophesied to come back in these last days as one nation because they come and repent according to the scriptures. Right. That's the whole Bible. That's right. Now, we're going to say something real quick because I'm still dealing with how we prove it. I don't want you to, I don't want anybody to get lost, right? But I want to tie this question into what he said. It wasn't a question, it's just when you said, something you said really clicked. That the, I've been raised in church all life. Right. When I was a kid. Same. But I was Catholic. It's very institutionalized to the point it where they'll even contradict the same things in the Bible from what they're saying up You're on right. the pedestal up there. And like, I never... I've realized it, but I never really like thought about it. And right. it makes sense. Like, it's always, you know, let it go. Like, oh, you know, it's not. But, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's, 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 that's good. Really What's that in Romans 2 where it says, hypocrites, you teach us one, but do it thyself? Two and what? Seven? Uh, like 12, 13. 12, 13. Find that real quick. Because you're right. The Bible has always showed us that there's going to be a nation of people that take this book and change it in order to enslave our mind. Now, who gave us that church? The church you went to, was it Baptist? Um, it was um, Pentecostal. Catholic. And you said Catholic too, right? Say so. You're, you were Catholic? That, I've had that issue in some Baptist churches. No, hey, it's the same thing with the Catholic church. I just want to ask real quick, what, what religion were you? My mom was brought up as Baptist. Baptist. We were raised as Seventh-day Adventist Christian. Okay, so Seventh-day Adventist, Baptist, Catholic, Catholic. I'm going to show you something. One of the commandments of God is, thou shall not lie, right? Are we all in agreement? So then if you're in, if you are lying, you are now contrary to God. Do we understand that? We're on the same page? Now you just said, the people in those institutions teach something, but then they don't apply that same thing they just taught, or they teach something contrary to what was written. Are we all in agreement? Let's get an example of that and why that's important. Read. Romans chapter 2 verse 21. Bring it out. No, therefore, which teaches another. So if you teach another, that's what the churches do, right? Corey, you've been to church, they try and teach us. You've been to Catholic church, they try and teach you. Read. Teaches thou not thyself. Aren't you supposed to be teaching yourself? If you bring out thou shalt not lie, shouldn't you not be lying? If you bring out thou shalt not commit adultery, Shouldn't you not be sleeping with the women in the front row of the church or touching little boys in the Catholic church? Read. Teaches not thyself, thou that preaches a man should not steal. Now, real quick course. What we are talking about is hypocrit being hypocritical. Now, if they lie about commandments like thou shalt not lie, but they're lying. Thou shalt not commit adultery, but most of the pastors are committing adultery. Do you think they told you the truth about what Christ looked like? Do you think they would tell you the truth about who you are according to the Bible? If you can't even keep your own self right, how, are they gonna, how is God going to give them the spirit to discern the scriptures? That doesn't make any sense. Now, in every church, when it was Baptist and Catholic, 
What does Christ look like in those churches? Let me see. Corey, point to one. What, what, where do you see Christ on these signs? Say so. I want you to say so. I want, I want the Christ that they teach in church. The one they taught me is in the middle. Huh? Yep, right this one right here, they say, right? Dead, dead hey, that, that, that's the Christ you've seen, right? Now read that in Revelation. What we're teaching, my man over there said he's Caucasian. Now that's what they teach, right? I, I know that you know. Oh, yeah. Come over here, let's talk. Come over here, let's talk. So now that is an example of hatred for our people. Now, read that real quick. Let's, we're going to talk about why that image is wrong. And then we're going to get into how we change this whole thing. Read. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it up! Revelation, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now, Corey, the Bible says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Well, that on the right-hand side for them is woolly. Exactly, that's exactly right. So now, the original question that Corey had is how do we know that the Jews are black? Right here is Christ's image. It said he had white woolly hair. So if Christ was from the tribe of Judah, or was a Jew, then who are his people if he looked like that? Black people. You go to Puerto Rico, you go to Luisa. Those are the remnants of slaves that came from Africa. All of our people are, are, are melanated people in Puerto, in Puerto Rico. Now the thing is, we lost connection from our, our roots through mixing and stuff like that. But our people are always a colored people. Now, read. Check it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Dark. So his feet were brass, dark. What's the color of the rest of his body if his feet were dark? It's got to be the same. So Christ, from the head, his head was woolly like an afro, and his feet were dark. His whole body's dark. That's a black man. I don't know where else you could find a white man in there. It doesn't say long, stringy hair, but that's the point I made. That's why I went to the hypocritical point. If they are lying about their actions and they're lying about what you should do according to the Bible, they cannot bring out the true understanding that Christ was bring black. It out. They will not, and they will never do it. Because they don't want you to know exactly. It was all from slavery. That's why they implemented that religion in slavery. Because it went hand in hand with putting us in slavery. That's right. If you believe Christ was a white man, you would never rebel against the white man that had you in slavery. You'd say, this is my lot in life. That's master. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.